Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing my updated everyday makeup drawer video for the month of February. I do these every single month, usually at the very beginning of the month, and I go with you to pick out new products for my everyday makeup drawer, and then we do our makeup together in the end using some of the new products. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so it's time for a new everyday makeup drawer. If you watch these videos every month, I switch out my products and use them for a month or so, and then I switch them out with new things. If you're familiar, then this drawer is gonna look different. This is not where I normally do my everyday makeup, so I'm kind of in the process of moving my beauty room around. So normally, come over here, I film here. I used to have a white desk right here, and I bought this from Ikea with the intention of using it here to use to film. Then I realized that this piece, this is the mom dressing table from Ikea. You've probably seen it. It's pretty popular. I realized that this is not, it has to be attached to the wall basically. So it cannot sit in the middle of the room like this can. There's nothing to like stabilize it. It's just like two legs and a top piece. So anyway, I ended up having to put it back here and put what was here right here, which kind of defeated the purpose at first because I bought this mainly because I wanted a bigger everyday makeup drawer because this drawer is way bigger than the desk I was using. It was like my old desk I had in college. And I thought, okay, I'll use this for my everyday makeup drawer. I know this is a long story, but then I realized this had to go against a wall. So I couldn't use it for that. So now I have this as my filming desk, which used to be back here in my background. And now this does have drawers in it, but they're a good bit smaller. Like right now I just have some random stuff in here, some hair stuff. And there's two drawers. This one, this is just like random filming things. So I could use these drawers, but the problem is these are really small, shallow drawers. And like this thing I normally use doesn't fit in there. So I can either just make this my everyday makeup drawer and it not be the table that I use to film with, or I could make this my everyday makeup drawer like I had it before and I'll just have to figure out different organizers or a different way to organize my makeup in here. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, I'm still not really sure what I'm going to do but anyway this is the stuff that's been in the drawer for the past month. All of this and then all of this. These are little things I just threw in here. But as always, I'm going to go through and put all of this stuff away and then we'll pick out some new products and then in the end we'll do our makeup together. One more thing before we put everything away. So my makeup room is kind of disjointed. It's not disjointed, but it's just kind of a mess right now because I normally keep my makeup in these, the Alex 5 drawers, and I've had them in here really since I started YouTube three and a half years ago. I've never really loved them. I just, they're fine. I just don't love, I don't love how narrow they are. I like wider drawers where I can have things like more spread out. And I also don't have much room to grow at all in these drawers. So anyway, eventually, like hopefully in the next week or two, I'm going, I got a new piece of furniture to go over there. All my makeup's gonna go over there where my desk is that I use to work and edit and things right now. So that's why these are kind of pulled out from the wall. Normally they're like pushed over there, but anyway, I've just been playing around with some things the last few days. So that's what we're doing. But now I'm gonna go ahead and put away the makeup and then we'll pick out some new stuff.
So let's pick out some new makeup. We're gonna do concealer and corrector first. For a corrector, what should we put in? I think I might do the Pixie corrector for like more of a fuller coverage. And then I'm also gonna do the Neutrogena. That one's a little bit less coverage. Okay, and then, all right, for concealer, I think I'm actually gonna put in this new Makeup Revolution IRL Filter Finish Concealer. I wanna use that one a bit more. Let's see how I'm liking it. Um, what else can I put in? I'm gonna put in the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I haven't used this one a ton lately, and that's a little bit of a lighter coverage than that Makeup Revolution. And then I kind of feel like I want to put in one more. Let's do this one. I have not used this in a very long time, the Power Play from Cover FX. I actually don't even know. Can you still buy this? I think you can. Uh, I know they were at Ulta for a while, but they're not anymore. They're not on Sephora, so I'm not sure. I always liked this concealer, though. I think I might put that in, and that'll be it for this drawer. Then I have all of my powders in here and my face palettes. Um, I want to use this little mini Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know. I've just really been craving that powder lately. As weird as that sounds. So I think I'm going to use that one and then I'll probably do a pressed powder. Also, I think I might do the Maybelline Fit Me powder and then I kind of want to put one of these face palettes in there too. I think I honestly might put the Elephant palette in there try to get some more use out of that. I might even put my Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation in. I haven't used that lately either, so I think we'll do that too. So we've got primer and foundation. I'm gonna put in the new L'Oreal Prime Lab primer. I've used this a little bit, but I wanna use it a little bit more just to see how I feel about it. This is the Redness Eraser one, and the few times I've used it, I've used too much of it, so I really wanna try it again and use less of it and see how I think or what I think about it. For foundations, I kinda of wanna put this in. I haven't used this lately, the True Skin from Catrice. I really like this. This is a great foundation from um, a drugstore brand. So, ooh, or, no, you know what? I kind of want to put this in, actually. Yeah, Neutrogena Healthy Skin. I think I might do that instead of the Catrice one. I think I want to put my Merit Minimalist Stick in, and then maybe I'll do Kosas because, yeah, maybe we'll do this one because I did the Kosas Concealer. Oh, one more thing I'm gonna stick in. It's hiding back here. I've used this, but I don't think I've used it in a video yet. I have got this Maybelline Dream BB Fresh Cream. I know this has been around forever. My mom tried it and she liked it, which is saying a lot. I've kind of talked about my mom is really picky about really everything, but makeup for sure. She's very picky and she actually liked this. So I got it and I like it as well. So I'm gonna put that in too. For bronzer and highlight. I definitely wanna put a highlighter in. I've been much more into highlighter lately. I don't know why. I think I'm gonna put in this one. This is a new product from Mob Beauty. They sent this to me. It's the Highlighting Balm in M98. It's a really pretty champagne 
just a glossy looking highlight. It's not glittery and shimmery. It's more of just a glossy look. It's really, really pretty. I think I will put that in and then I might also put a powder highlighter in also. I might do this. I have not used this in a long time, but I love it. The Soft and Gentle from MAC for bronzer. Okay, I know I want to put in this, the NARS. This is new to me. It's the cream bronzer in Laguna 01. I've been testing this out and I really, really like it. So that I definitely want to put in and use it some more. And then I'm also going to put this in because I'm also now slightly obsessed with Biscuit from Westman Atelier. This is just the little mini one. But I want to put that in. And what else can we do? I want to do another powder bronzer. I kind of want to do this. I haven't used this one lately. The Charlotte Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. So maybe we'll do that one as well. And let's see, anything else in here? No, I think that's it for here. Blush, of course. This one, let's see, what should we do this time? Okay, I'm gonna put in a Patrick Ta blush. This time I'm gonna do She's Blushing, which is one of my favorites. Oh, I'm gonna also do another new obsession. Westman Atelier in Petal. I love that one. Let's do a Pat McGrath powder blush. I'm gonna use this one. This is one of the blush duos in Aphrodite Amour. It's just a really light pink, which is what I'm very into right now. So I think I will do that as well. So we have mascara and brows and eyeliner in here. I'm going to do the tubing mascara from Tarte. I actually am really liking that one. I'm not typically a huge, huge fan of tubing mascaras, but for some reason I like this one. And okay, I'm going to force myself not to use Lash and Roll because... Pretty obsessed with it. I'm gonna do telescopic lift. I guess I'll put this one in too, although that would give me two tubing mascaras. I don't think I wanna do that. Um, let's do Lash Sensational Waterproof instead. For brows, I'm gonna do Wow Brow from e.l.f. And I think I'm just gonna put my Got To Be Glued in. I don't wanna start using that more. Um, I'm gonna do the Dior Show Brow Styler. This is like the brow pencil that just will not die. <laughs> I feel like I use it and use it and use it and there's still just more product in here. So I'm gonna use that. I think I might actually start trying to use my NYX lift and snatch pen again. I haven't been using that lately. And what else? Oh, um, eyeliners. I'm going to use my new NARS pencil in Mambo. I think I might do the Pillow Talk liner from Charlotte Tilbury. And let's see what in here. Oh, I want to put a liquid liner in, so I'm going to do this NYX Epic Ink liquid liner. And is that everything? Yeah, I think that's all for in here. Okay, this drawer is mostly single shadows, but there are some random lip products in here and then my eyeshadow primers. Let's do... I'm going to put the Milani eye primer in and then I opened a new NARS eyeshadow primer in medium. I still have my light shade right here and I keep thinking I'm done with this, but I just, I keep getting product out of it and I really want to use it 
all the way up. So I think I'll put that in and give this a break. I've been using this a ton, the Sigma eyeshadow base. I really like it, but again, I kind of want to give it a little bit of a break. And then I don't know why I'm very into single shadows right now. I'm not really sure why. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just really gravitating towards my singles more. I'm going to put in this the All That Glitters from MAC. I got this recently and I've really been enjoying it. So I'm gonna put that in. I think I might put this back in also. I really like this. This is just a Shantikai single shadow. It's really pretty though. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna stick this Naturium lip balm in, in the clear shade. And then let's see, do I want to do any shadow sticks? I might put this in. This is an Ulta Beauty cream shadow and liner stick. I think, yeah, I'm going to put this in. This is Bobbi Brown Golden Bronze. It's one of my favorite shadow sticks that I have. I think that's it for here. <clears throat> for my lip drawer you actually haven't seen my lip stuff since i changed it around i had these in a totally different configuration but they were all like laying down stacked on top of each other and i just did not like that it just drove me nuts so i had this organizer from back when i first started youtube it's actually for foundations but I just, I don't love putting my founda my foundations in here. I don't know why, but I kind of like it for lip products. Long story short is now all my lip stuff is in here and my lip liners are up here. But again, all this is probably going to change when I move my makeup into the new storage. But anyway, let's pick out some lip products. Also this way I feel like I can kind of see things better. Um, okay, I'm going to do this heart juicy lip in primrose i don't want to do a makeup by mario dimitri smoky pink toasty almond okay i'm gonna put almond in there and let's see maybe smoky pink also um okay i'm gonna do this lawless forget the filler gloss in Daisy Pink. I feel like I need one of my Makeup by Mario's back in the drawer just because I just love these. I absolutely love them. I'm gonna do Bronze Glow. I'm gonna put in this Dior Lip Maximizer in it's number 16. I think it's Nude Shimmer. For a lipstick, I'm gonna do this one. This is Pillow Talk 2 from Charlotte Tilbury. And let's see, what else can I put in? I'm gonna put in Modesty from MAC. One of my favorites. Let's do the Kosas Lip Oil and Unzipped. Mm, I'm gonna put the Dibs Clear Gloss in there also. And okay, I think that's it. Then I have my palettes in here and my smaller palettes down here. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this new NARS Orgasm palette in because I wanna use it a little bit more. I got this for my full face of NARS that you would have seen by now. And then kinda wanna put this in too. For some reason, the Master Mattes from Makeup by Mario. It's just obviously a palette full of neutral matte colors, but a lot of times that's what I reach for just day to day. So I think I will put that in as well. And I don't know, I kind of want to put this in again. Maybe we'll do it. Okay, Tartlet and Bloom also. And let's see, I think that's okay. Oh, I'm going to put this in too. This is random, but this is the Arborean CC Red Correct Cream. It's just a really good product to apply when you're doing a lighter base of makeup. It's nice to do this as a base and then spot conceal with concealer or something on the rest of your face where you need it. I think I'm going to put that in also.
Okay, finally got everything put back in here. This drawer is nice because I feel like I have room to spread things out. Like I still have this room over here. So technically I could put some more things over here, but I put all my lip stuff there, little disposable spoolies right there, some brow stuff, mascara, and single shadows in there, primer, foundation, concealer, corrector, bronzers, highlight, skin prep stuff, blushes, eyeshadows, and my eyeshadow primers right there. So I don't know, we'll, I guess I'll use it like this for a little bit and see if I like it okay back here, even though I sit here and do my makeup, but it's not really a big deal because it's just right behind and I just feel like I can't, these are gonna be kind of hard to organize the makeup in. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of these things out and we'll do our makeup together. All right, as always, we're gonna do our makeup together. And I did wanna start with some SPF because I haven't applied that yet today. And I'm trying out this one from Naturium. It's the Dew Glow Moisturizer. It's actually a moisturizer and an SPF with, let's see, SPF 50, niacinamide, and ethyl ascorbic acid. So I've tried this a few times, so I haven't used it yet in a video. So I'm gonna take two pumps. It's definitely a thicker product, but it feels super moisturizing, which makes sense since they do say it's moisturizer and SPF, but it's very, very glowy as you'll see. So it's been like a few minutes. I wanted to let that kind of sit for a minute. So you can see it's very, very glowy, very similar in terms of how it looks on your skin to Glow Screen or the e.l.f. Woe Glow. It's very similar to that. This one I do think is more hydrating than those though. It's definitely more of a lotion texture since it is a moisturizer but it's nice. So let's do some brows first. I think I'm gonna do the Got To Be Glued brow gel with just a little disposable spoolie. So I got some on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this in my brows first just to make sure it doesn't mess up my foundation or anything. Okay. This is key when you use this stuff. You have to clean up the edges so things don't get crusty and weird. I'm gonna skip primer today, but I did wanna use my Pixi color corrector. I did post a short here on YouTube and over on Instagram as well, depending on where you follow me. I posted a video of me swatching all of these under my eyes, all of my drugstore correctors and all of my high-end correctors, and I literally swatched them all in a video. So if you wanna see that, make sure you go check that out on any of my platforms has been posted at this point. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And then I'm just going to blend that in as I normally do with a brush. I've been trying to make sure I really get this inner corner lately with my corrector because I find, especially on this eye, my left eye, I get pretty blue, purple in that area too. So I'm trying to make sure I get that as well. I'm gonna use the Kosas Revealer foundation in 170. And I'm gonna blend that in with a Smashbox blurring foundation brush. This is a really pretty foundation. I always kind of forget about this one, but it's a really pretty one. It's definitely a little bit on it's not super glowy, but it definitely has a little bit of a glow to it. And today it's probably gonna look extra glowy because I have that sunscreen from Naturium underneath. 
but the finish on this is really pretty. For concealer, we're gonna use the Revealer Concealer also from Kosas, and I wear 2.5C in this concealer, and this color should be pretty good match with this foundation. This foundation right now, I have no self tan, no nothing on, so it's like a hair dark on me, but this concealer is not, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that to my face just to kind of balance everything out. And I'm just gonna blend that with the same foundation brush from Smashbox. And then I'm actually gonna switch to the 110 from BK Beauty to blend under my eyes. I'm gonna use the Laguna bronzer from NARS in Laguna 01 and I'm using it with the Angie A507 from BK Beauty. Really, really good brush for cream bronzer and blush. Do you hear my cat? Louie! Louie! This, you guys, ever since I got this bronzer, I can't stop using it. This, this might be a new favorite for me. It's just so easy. It's a beautiful color. If you are around my skin tone, you love it. For blush, I'm going to use Patrick Ta in She's Blushing. I'm just in a Patrick Ta mood today. And normally I apply the powder first. Ugh, this color, you guys. Honestly, I know I'm such a broken record when it comes to Patrick Ta, but I just love it. I'm going to take that brush we used for Laguna, and I'm going to get just like a little tiny bit on there. And go over the powder. Even though you really don't need it, this color is like very, very pigmented. Okay, my camera or my memory card just ran out of storage, so I had to pause and change it. So I'm not sure where I left off, but I just applied a little bit of the cream she's blushing over the powder from Patrick Ta. I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I just have this little mini one. I think this was a Sephora birthday gift. I feel like that's how I got a mini of it, but I'm just gonna lightly set my face with the 55 brush from Sephora. I'm gonna kind of lightly set most of my face because I had a lot of glow going on from that sunscreen and all the cream products. It's been a while actually since I've just used the traditional like OG Laura Mercier powder and I have to say it's a good one. Now I'm going to fill in my brows. I'm going to use that Dior brow pencil. Okay, I'm gonna use my NARS eyeshadow base in the shade Light. I feel like I have been using this product forever and ever and it's just like never ending. And I just opened a new one in the medium shade because I was able to find one um, at a Sephora inside of Kohl's. But I'm not sure what's going on with this product because I feel like something's happening. They're either like repackaging it or something because it's out of stock most places online, which really makes me sad because this is like my all-time favorite. Okay, lately for eyeshadow, pretty much all the time, but especially lately, I've just been very into very little on my eyes. I don't know why, 
but I'm gonna go into the Makeup by Mario Master Matte palette, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this peachy color and then this kind of warmer brown. I'm gonna mix them together, and I'm just gonna apply this all over my lid and kind of feather it up into the crease. Is this palette back in stock? I hope it is. I feel like it was out of stock there for a while, but it's such a good one. If you're a neutral person, you don't like a lot of glitter or shimmer, this palette literally has everything that you need. Next, I'm gonna take the chocolate brown in the palette and I'm gonna use this to do a little bit of a wing today instead of actual liquid liner. I've been really into that lately, but I don't know, today I just kinda wanna do a little shadow wing. I'm gonna take a little bit of those two colors we put all over my eye and I'm gonna just put that on my bottom lash line just really lightly. I'm gonna curl my lashes with my Tweezerman curler. For mascara, I'm gonna use the one that's going crazy right now. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. The L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I have mine in black brown. If you're wondering what my thoughts are on this mascara, I think it's really good. It's one of the best drugstore mascaras I've tried recently. Apart from the e.l.f. La, I almost said lash and glow. I don't know why. Lash and roll. I prefer that one. It's a little bit more separating in my opinion and I just prefer that one a little bit over this one but this one is also very good. But keep in mind I do also have really long lashes at the moment so always keep that in mind. Some, If you see somebody in their lashes look amazing after a mascara, just remember, if that person already has long lashes, of course the mascara is gonna look good. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind when you watch people review a mascara. If they have good lashes, whether the mascara is good or not, it's probably gonna look good on them, you know? But I will say this one is very good to me. For a lip liner, I'm gonna use Makeup by Mario in the shade Almond. And then I'm gonna use Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Primrose. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for my updated everyday makeup drawer for February. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to these every single month and if you have thoughts on the drawer situation that we talked about earlier let me know your thoughts um but yeah i will definitely do a video most likely when i get my new storage put together and put my makeup in it with you and everything but as of right now this is what the setup is looking like but thank you for watching i will list and link everything below as always Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1 and make sure to share my videos. Share my videos with anyone that you think might like them. I am pretty close to hitting 10,000 subscribers and I really want to do that sooner rather than later. So make sure to share my videos and I will see you in my next video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.